morning. Welcome to my channel. My name is Bobby. Um, it's been a minute. Well, I don't even know. Um, my videos have been getting really bad shadow bands, so they're blocking them to where nobody's even seen them. And so I've been focused on my art. I got a bunch of paintings I want to post, but YouTube is blocking those two now. My shorts are being blocked. <laughs> that sounded funny. But yeah, yeah. <sighs> so I have to, I don't know. It's what it is, right? I don't even know who sees what. So, but this is this video. I'm gonna do them for when. Normally, I've been doing like less than minute videos, trying to do the shorts to get through. And they learned how. They figured that one out when I my turtle, my sea turtle, got like over a thousand views. So that kind of scared them. So apparently, I should be getting paid. I didn't realize that. In YouTube, if you get over four thousand views. In a 12 month period, you're able to be monetized. If you qualify. Oh, yeah, I don't qualify apparently. I'm naughty. But anyway, let's talk I want to talk about something. I'm at Night Beach, right? And I in my la in my videos, I talked about last summer and this summer. I've talked about meeting Sonny last summer when I was here first time in Newport. And he is he is a local fixture. He was homeless for seven months, living down here on the on the, you know, Nye Beach, and the people embraced him and they wrote stories about him, and <laughs> so yeah, and we became friends, right? And before I left last summer, he was still living in his vehicle here in the parking lot, and he luckily he got an apartment. And this, like, like I said, this this summer when I showed up here, first time I show up in this parking lot, I pull in after a, what six months or whatever. And 10 minutes later, he shows up with his daughter. We didn't contact each other. I hadn't talked to him in six months. We didn't have each other's number. But I was like thinking about him a lot. And I'm like, I hope he's okay, happy. And I show up here in 10, 10, 10 minutes after I showed up here on Night Beach for the first time in six months, he shows up. So obviously, you know, there's con there's connection. So anyways, um, we're watching his buddy's stuff. And... His buddy's doing like a little romantic dinner for for his girlfriend down on the beach. So he wanted Sonny to watch it for him so nobody stole the stuff. So me and Sonny are sitting on the beach. I'm keeping him company. And he's having a hard time walking right now. And we're sitting there. And this lady comes down the steps with her autistic son. And I knew he was autistic because he pointed at the no campfires sign. And he was serious about it. like, look, she, I guess she was like, no, this, and he was, she was trying to explain the variations. This kid looked at this, no, no campfire sign. He's like, no, no campfires. It was cute. Anyway, so he's, and this is the funny part, right? He's walking onto the beach and he sees Sonny. He doesn't see me. He sees Sonny. And he walks up to him and he's just like, hello, hi. He's really cute. He's like, he had to been like in his late teens, early teens, but he's a young man, obviously autistic. And he saw Sonny, and he just beelined for Sonny, and he goes, Sonny looks like a big teddy bear right now. He's a big guy. And, <laughs> but he has to use canes right now. He's, he's like I said, he's, he was dying of a brain tumor, which I'm not reminding him of. I'm telling him, you need to get a puppy, you need to live, you need to get a bulldog puppy, and, you know what I mean, just focus on the now, and don't worry about the bullshit in the future. And so we're sitting there, and this kid beelined it for him, and he's like, this kid's talking to him and he's just fixated on, on Sonny. And Sonny goes, as soon as he made eye contact, I knew he was going to come out and talk to me. And so he's sitting there with Sonny. And he goes, and he goes, I'm a hugger. And this is what he does. He's cute because he understands the contact. So this kid puts on his mask. He's talking to Sonny. And he's just looking at him. He puts on his mask. And he's like, I'm a hugger. <laughs> and I was, like, I was like trying not to bust up. It was the cutest shit. And he's like, I'm a hugger. And Sonny's like, well, I'm not. <laughs> and Sonny's like, <laughs> I'm like, Sonny's a nice guy. Sonny's like, I'm, I'm not a hugger. And the kid did not understand what he's doing. His kid's like, but I'm going to hug you, right? Most people probably give him the hug. Cause, but Sonny's just sitting there going, I'm not a hugger. You got to understand Sonny. He's an old school, macho, was raised beating people up. Really big dude. So he was a bully pretty much. He was the guy beating everybody up. So he was a bully. So God, using, God is using him now in his in his old age to do good instead of go around beating the crap out of everybody but he had an interesting life i mean all kinds of interesting stuff but anyway 
So anyway, so Sonny's just like, I'm not a hugger. So he got him to bump elbows, which was cute. <clears throat> and finally, he understood that his mom was like, and his, his mom was so sweet. She was, you could tell she's a little stressed because the interaction, she's always got to worry about that, I'm sure. So luckily, she's like, we got to go now. And he's like, well, you have fun on the beach with your mom. And he's like, okay. And he put the fact that he put on his mask just so he could hug homeboy. And then he didn't hug him. I was like, oh, my God. And then he left. And he came back. And... You know, it was cute. It was so, and we talked to his mom real quick, and yeah, he's a blessing. That kid is a blessing. And I was thinking about that. That young man is a blessing to help people have compassion and, and understanding and patience. That kid is just a gift. And now I'm looking at, looking at Sonny as that's what you are, dude. Because when Sonny came here, they call him St. Sonny is because everybody was so generous to him. He was like, everybody. He was getting $100 bills. People were just showing up, giving him food. He was like, dude, I in a day, people would just show up and give me food. And just, they were, yeah. And it's like, so obviously there was something about you that, that drew people in. And I, I tell people, you are here to, you know, he's Friar, by the way, I tell him, you're Friar Tr Tuck. Because he totally reminds me of Friar, Friar Tuck in the original Robin Hood. He's heavy set, he's an older guy, and he's still, he's still a fighter, but he's working for God now, right? That's exact. I call him, he's like, like, what are you, Robin Hood? I was like, just, dude, you're fire tech, dude. Anyway, I get I get sidetracked. He is, you know, I love Sonny. Anyway, so, so yeah, the, the people are put here as blessings. Hopefully my videos will be a blessing to somebody. Sonny's a blessing to me. He's, he's a blessing to that kid, obviously. I told Sonny, it's like babies. Like, with me and babies, they see me and they light up. And some people are hold their babies and they'll walk by and their babies just light up smiling at me. And they're looking at me, who the fuck are you, right? Like, my kid just, like, loves you. It's like, b b kids, and uh, it's like, first of all, they're they're fresh from, you know, the, the, the ether, the heaven. So they're still kind of tapped in. So they, and they re recognize, you know, they know angels. They recognize their own. So, you know, when they, oh, I remember you, hey, how's it going, right? They're just, you know what I mean, kids. They're still innocents, which I am in a lot of ways. But yeah, we're here to either help it be a blessing or to be a disaster. And like I said, this is class, people. And we got to learn. It's a process. But we eventually, you want to be an emperor and empress in your energy where you don't take crap from anybody. You don't take lies from anybody. You, you're honest with yourself. You honor yourself. Self-honor. And yeah, self-love. And yeah. But anyways, that was just an amazing in, uh, interaction yesterday. I thought it was sweet as hell. That kid was just... I just want to hug you. <laughs> he was just that kid was standing there for like ten minutes. It was funny because you know autistic kids don't understand the awkwardness of the, the the social skills. He's learning, so he was literally just dude. He was waiting. For, he was trying to get Sunny to break down and give him a hug because I'm sure most people end up just doing it. You know, just don't want to be awkward and feel guilty, hurt the kid's feelings. Sunny had no problem with hurting this kid's feelings. And that's what cracked me up the most. He was like, it ain't going to happen, kid. <laughs> and so he's like, I'll give you the elbow bump. That was it, right? But that's how, and it's, I talked to Sonny. I'm like, you're even uncomfortable with it. Because here's a guy who you can sit there and we can have a deep spiritual conversation about things. And then five minutes later, he's making a crude fucking joke about some chick's ass. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so that's why he's fried tuck. But I'm like, he's still, I, I told him, I was like, that's your problem. Is you still have a, you're still having a problem with the gifts that God gives you to use for good, right? You know, that's like I tell him, he's, he's, he has a good singing voice. He does. He has a good country voice, you know, country singing voice. And he has this microphone where he can sing to people. And I said, dude, that's the side hustle. Put out a hat and just sing country, old country tunes. And you could do a little preaching on the side. You don't have to be like, just talk about loving each other and being cool and being nice and caring and empathy. Simple things, right? While he's making some money in the hat. So anyway, so anyway. <laughs> That's what this video is about, is, is friends and, and autism, and we all have a little bit of autism, it's just a matter of variations or whatever, but um, anyways, it was just an amazing day, and yeah, blessings, right? Anyway, I'm gonna, I, like I said, I have a bunch of uh, paintings, I, I just want to show them to you, uh, they're so awesome, I'm like jazz, I'm, I'm actually working with new techniques again, and it's just, they're popping. So hopefully you'll get to see some of them, and they glow in the some of them glow in the dark. I got some stars and a moon. And, oh my god, forget about it. Anyway, hopefully I'll make some sales because I'm heading back to the desert. But anyway, I love you. God loves you, and the universe is crazy about you. I'm gonna let you see some birds real quick. See a little bird? 
Take care. Love you. Bye.